AT here. I'm a program manager on the Ghoul for Education team. You may have seen me on the EDU and 90 series. So glad you could join us, AT. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about a critical part of any business, protection and management of data. And mismanagement of sensitive information can come at real costs. The challenge is how to protect sensitive data while still being able to use it for important business functions, like running analytics or customer support operations. Well, we've got an answer for this, Cloud Data Loss Prevention API. We'll also run through a quick demo of the self-paced lab where we'll set up a DLP API and use it to inspect a string of data for sensitive information. So when it comes to properly handling sensitive data, the first step is knowing where it exists. Well, the DLP API uses a variety of techniques to identify sensitive data like credit card numbers, social security numbers, names, and other forms of personally identifiable information. In addition to identifying sensitive data within text content, the API can detect and classify sensitive data within standard bitmap images too. Applying the API to text streams allows you to automatically redact or censor any sensitive data before it writes to disk, generates logs, or is used to perform analysis tasks. Identifying sensitive data up front also allows you to choose the most suitable storage system and appropriate access controls for that data. The DLP API classifies raw data by using a set of predefined detectors to identify patterns, formats, and checksums. The API can even understand contextual clues. Once you know where your sensitive data lives, the API gives you the option to de-identify that data. So what does that mean? De-identifying data removes identifying information from a data set, making it more difficult to associate the remaining data with an individual and reducing the risk of exposure. The resulting data is then suitable for apps, storage, or analysis. Redaction removes entire values or entire records from a data set. Partial masking hides parts of the data, leaving some data visible. For example, the last seven digits of a US telephone number. Tokenization, or secure hashing, replaces sensitive data with a key. This is often used in credit card processing. Dynamic data masking applies de-identification and masking techniques in real time. This can be useful if you don't want to alter your underlying data, but want to mask it when viewed by certain users. Special access privileges could be applied for those who need to view it, say, HR or a finance team. The DLP API integrates with many of our other GCP services, too. Cloud Functions can help you automate the classification of data that's uploaded to cloud storage. Also, there's a built-in support for scanning and classifying sensitive data in Cloud Storage, Cloud Data Store, and BigQuery. Cloud PubSub notifications can be generated in response to completed inspection jobs. We then created a service account to access the Google Cloud APIs when testing locally and gave the service account the required permissions. We then generated a service account key. So first, we create a JSON file with sensitive information. In this case, it's a phone number. We authenticate to our service account, passing the location of the service account key file, and obtain an authorization token using the service account. We can then use the curl command to inspect the JSON file for sensitive information, and the response shows that the phone number was found with a likelihood of likely. We can also redact sensitive information. We create a second JSON file, this time with a sensitive email address. We can then use the curl command to de-identify the JSON file for sensitive information. We can see the response that the email address has been replaced. Well, that's the end of another episode. We hope you enjoyed it. If you've got some great examples of how you've been able to apply this API, please share it with us. And make sure to check out the link where you can apply what you've learned today and use a $300 free trial credit at Google Cloud Platform here. All of our additional training resources are linked below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.